The entire Docker universe boils down to this really simple, elegant flow. You start with a Docker file, which you use to build an image, which you then run as a container. That's it. Let's look at each one. First up, you've got the Docker file. The best way to think of this is like a recipe, or maybe even your app's DNA. It's just a plain text file. And in that file, you write down the instructions, step-by-step, step, for building your app's perfect little home. You say, start with this OS, install this software, copy these files over, and then run this command to kick things off. So, you've got your recipe, the Docker file. Now you run a command, and Docker turns that recipe into an image. An image is like a perfectly preserved snapshot of your app and its environment, frozen in time. The magic word here is immutable, which is just a fancy way of saying it cannot be changed, ever. And that's the secret sauce that guarantees it's the same every single time. And last but not least, the container. If the image is the frozen blueprint, the container is that blueprint brought to life. It's the live, running, breathing version of your app. It's your application happily doing its thing inside its own perfect, isolated bubble. 